kudos to my former colleague back at the Sun News Network, David Aiken, for his very important scoop. Here's the headline. Stats Canada requesting banking information of 500,000 Canadians without their knowledge. Let me read a bit from David's story that he wrote with Andrew Russell. Statistics Canada is asking banks across the country for financial transaction data and personal information of 500,000 Canadians without their knowledge, Global News has learned. A little more. Documents obtained by Global News show this National Statistical Agency plans to collect individual level financial transactions data and sensitive information like social insurance numbers from Canadian financial institutions to develop a new institutional personal information bank. Oh, oh, just that, eh? Just a database of everything you buy, everything you save, everything you transfer, every time you use an ATM, every time you buy something on your credit card, every time you tap your credit card on a machine, all the money in your account at all times, just that, everything. And it's all attached to your name and social insurance number, every single thing. Hell, why not just tap right into that little video camera on my laptop computer and just watch me all the time? But what's so incredible here is that this is being done secretly. The proposal is a secret and the data will be swept up secretly. There's no search warrant. There's no probable cause. These half million people did nothing wrong. That's the point, you don't have to do anything wrong. You're just chosen to be the lucky ones and you won't even know if you were chosen and your bank will not even be able to tell you that they've given your information to Trudeau. Half a million people's intimate details just going to be dumped into the government's hands. Oh, and that's half a million every year. Every year they'll choose another half million people. As if that's not going to be hacked. As if it's not going to be hacked by China, by commercial hackers. As if it won't be searched by Justin Trudeau's liberal war room looking for dirt. As if it won't be. I don't want to just talk about this or complain about this. I want to do something about this. Because someone has to and who will? Step one, obviously, is to let Justin Trudeau know that this is outrageous and unacceptable. And it's not the data that has the rights here. It's us as Canadians. Stop snooping, you little perv, you peeping Tom. Stop snooping. So we've set up a massive petition at stopsnooping.ca. I want to get 50,000 names on this in, against this insanity. 50,000 names. And no, I won't give your personal details to Justin Trudeau. Just your name. And come to think of it, I think I'll redact your last name. I'll just give me your first name because I don't want him to put you in some database as like a dissident. But sign our petition and we'll show him your first name. And we'll, I want to show him 50,000 Canadians are opposed to this. But look, that's not enough. So today I spoke with a lawyer who specializes in class action lawsuits. And I asked him for advice about this. I thought a class action lawsuit would be the best approach, but he convinced me that a better approach is to hire a privacy lawyer and to file a complaint with Trudeau's fi privacy commissioner. And when that is inevitably rejected by Trudeau's handpicked man, to appeal that for judicial review to an actual court. So you're suing, suing actually Trudeau and his privacy commissioner. You're not suing as a class action, but under privacy law to have the whole scheme rendered illegal and to make a constitutional argument if necessary. I thought that sounded right. That sounded right to me. Now, right now we're trying to recruit just the right privacy lawyer, someone who doesn't mind taking on Justin Trudeau and all the powers that be and all the snoops and all the peeping toms from Justin Trudeau to Mark Zuckerberg to challenge them and fight back. I hope to have more concrete news with the name of a lawyer willing to fight the fight. I don't have that name ready to reveal yet. I will keep you posted. But this is serious. I mean, it's just the thing to drive people underground, actually, to get people to switch to Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency, to get people to set up a foreign bank account, or maybe just to walk around with $1,000 cash and buy everything with cash instead of doing it electronically so the government can spy on you. Well, I mean, seriously, w would you want Justin Trudeau, that scoff law, that five times convicted, law-breaking, ethically challenged snoop, having access to your most private business? No, not me, not me. So please sign our petition at Stop Snooping. Dot CA. Let's get started. I hope to have a privacy lawyer in place by next week, maybe even sooner. 
That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show, weekdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Every day I do a monologue, interview a guest, and read my fan mail and my hate mail. To subscribe, go to therebel.media slash shows.